Hey there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for the next 48 hours. Hope everybody's doing good. Thank you all so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of you very much. If you're interested in a private reading, look in the description box below. So next 48 hours, bringing in your spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get some messages for your greater good. Let me just pull some of these first for Pisces. Okay, just pulling a few of those first and that one. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have for Pisces? I feel like your reading should be taking this from this energy. So that's why I pulled that. Um, this says, ready to take control and lead. You're wearing the boots in the family. <laughs> You're ready to lead. You're ready to lead this. You're still maybe healing from a heartbreak, but I think you're realizing something's part of life and it too shall pass, right? Spiritual work and self-discovery. Spiritual work and self-discovery leads to that Queen of Wands, bold energy, sunflower, bright future, and happy days ahead. Yeah, from out of this suffering, from out of the heartache, turns up and like a new you that's taking control over this situation. Preservation. It says, reevaluate this battle that you're engaged in. A hasty treat may be in order. Self-preservation may be the only thing salvageable. Faith. Loving and then letting go is not one of the most challenging things we can do. It's the bravest. Take big, deep breaths and know that this is right. And then steadiness. Things seem to be moving slowly, but use this time to your advantage and gather your resources and rebuild your energy. You are going to need them, Pisces. All right, let's get your... Um, Let's put that over here. Let's do a Celtic cross, a general spread for Pisces. I'm going to start off with the issue. What was the issue for Pisces? Okay. Rebuilding a tower moment. Look, this is the issue right here. I know it is because I thought King of Swords energy with the take control and lead. This is, Or it might be needing advice from somebody who can lead you the way. Um like a lawyer or somebody involved in justice, something like that. The issue is rebuilding. How do you rebuild this tower moment? Okay, that's the issue here. You need to take control and assume responsibility for this tower moment or take control of the tower moment. Don't be careless because the heart of the matter may be somebody that moves fast in and out of your life in and out they're not a very reliable person so that's the issue about gaining control it means that you pretty much you will have all this control but for some reason it feels like you're not moving that's what i feel like he feels like okay what's the past energy here Five of Cups energy. So grieving, really grieving a lot. Clinging to the past. And it's, I was just thinking today, there's like a look on some people's faces when they're clinging to the past. And it's like, these are the people still living in the past. You can tell because there's a tendency to hold on to the things that we regret and focusing on them, which you know, whatever you focus on is what comes to pass. So if you focus too much on what you don't want, then that's just inviting it to you. So don't cling to the past. Is the, <laughs> That's the recommendation. But there is a mourning time. There's such thing as mourning time. Okay, what's that present situation? It's a present situation for Pisces. Oh, the magician. And the high priestess. Wow, okay, so you're manifesting your control back, control over a situation that was your tower moment, but maybe you avoided this tower somehow with the magician. That's kind of what I, that's like what I'm feeling is something was avoided, diverted. 
thanks to some kind of discipline or control. All right, another card for the present. <laughs> it's your nine of cups. It's your nine of cups. It's your wish granted. You're manifesting your wish granted. This could be a time of like great manifesting skills for you. Of course it is. Anyway, the energy is supporting it. So what's the near future energy? Near future for Pisces. <laughs> Making good decisions from here on out. The lover's card could be about soulmate energy, uh, feeling like you've met your other half or something, having a feeling that something is right or having a really big decision or crossroads at your life in the near future. And that's probably very possible. Maybe a good partnership with something that you're growing that's steady and slow. What's the external energy here? What's the external energy? Okay, so three of swords feeling like this from this tower moment. Feeling heartbreak, feeling loss, time for mourning. That's why. So that's probably what we're working on healing. Heartache. Could have been a third party situation. Could have been loss of job. Hopes and fears is that you can get through this. And look, you can, and it's about surrender. It's about surrendering the control. It And how that is taking back your control. Because you're not forcing things to work anymore. You're not pushing things to work. You know that any resistance is not positive for you. Or what you're manifesting. Alright, so let's move on. This is interesting. You hope to have the perseverance even through this. After all the battles, you hope that you still stay in the race. What is the outcome? Well, that's good, guys. Ah, <laughs> Two of swords is the outcome. Have to make a decision. You'll have to make a decision. It'll be a hard decision. It is a crossroads in your life where you're coming, okay, you're coming out of feeling ignored. You're coming out of the feeling of any, maybe any financial problems. You'll be coming out of that. Also, dealing with some issues with the family. Um, and maybe, maybe it's this decision that really has a big effect on those two things. Let's get um, postponing something. Let's get another card for the outcome. For Pisces, please. Outcome for Pisces, healing. You'll be healing. Yeah, heart healing. You'll be healing these two areas of your life. You'll be healing family issues, healing soulmate issues, making tough decisions that you'll stop postponing, and healing a financial situation too while you're at it. So that's really good, guys. That's really good. All right, so... Let's get some of the shaman's dream for you. thought that was a good reading. That looks like, oh, look at that. Fortune's will, luck, and the right timing. That looks like um, a pinnacle to me, too. It says you're in the hand. You, the universe is your partner. Let's do three of these. Netcaster, it's preparations come to fruition. You are casting your net and you know what you want and it's bringing it in. Heart home, healing heart, getting back to the healing sensation that an open heart can truly help. Clearing any blockages with the chakra, 27. All right, let's get one more card. cosmic womb. You're going to breathe this to life. Um, cosmic womb. It, it is the receiving. It's the divine feminine. I feel like with this card, it's a healing heart and they're telling you be open and ready to receive. That's what I'm getting from this is be open and ready to receive. Yeah. Pisces is really good reading. Really good. 
Let's get you some um, tea leaves too before I close off your reading. And once again, thanks for joining me. Okay, tea leaves. Oh, look at that. The fish, <laughs> appropriate, right? Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Yeah, anytime you see the goldfish, two of them are an auspicious sign on the Buddha, but yeah, auspicious, good signs. Bell, an announcement. It's like the judgment or a final judgment. Maybe something big, something like a birth or um, a wedding or something like that. Acts, forces working against you. Forces working against you. Be careful about your energy. Um, there's always, you know, the brighter your light is, the bigger the shadow that's cast. And that's the side that's usually wanting us to sabotage ourselves and things like that. Um, and they bring or they give you feelings of this. And then it will manifest once you start thinking and feeling it. So, yeah. September is a date for somebody here. Maybe to receive something. I don't know. Bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Yeah, you're ready to see, receive. See? Bird perched. Waiting for news, package, or a letter. All right, guys. That's your reading. Thank you so much, Pisces. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.